morning. Thanks for joining us once again. And uh, we're off on a, a walk today, starting from Hayfield Camping and Caravan Club site. And we're heading up onto uh, Kinder via the Three Knolls path. Um, as you can see, it's a, a very grey overcast day and forecast is that it's going to stay like that. But uh, hopefully we'll get a few nice views, which we'll just have to see. And from there, we're just going to turn right, uh, head along to Kinderlow and then see what time we've got uh, and how we feel. We'll either just come down past Edel Cross and down Oak and Clough or possibly head around uh, via Brown Knoll and um, South Head and that way, but we'll see how we go. So uh, why not stick with us and see if we get any views along the way. Mrs. Green. Are you? <laughs> Hardly started yet. Uh, it's a stiff climb up through the fields, but uh, it's uh, really kind of gentle going. It's uh, easy walking if you take your time. And uh, we're not too far before we get onto the proper three knolls path now, just through another couple of fields. Right, we're just below Kinderlow End now and uh, we're just going to skirt to the left of that and head up the Three Knolls path. There's a young lady that we've just met, uh, probably only in her 20s and uh, first time up Kinder and we were just discussing paths or whatever. She didn't know which path she was going to take but she's heading directly up uh, Kinderlow End. Uh, maybe in another 30 or 40 years time she'll be going up the three knolls path instead because <laughs> it's a bit uh, it's a bit more gradual seems to be doing all right though
terminal if you're up for it. Or path for mountain goats if you don't. towards Kinderlow. How was it for you, darling? Well, the weather's uh, suddenly closed in. It's a bit of low cloud, really. Doesn't appear to be uh, carrying any rain, touch wood, so far. So, uh, hopefully it don't get any worse. to uh, Kinder Low Trig now. I'm not sure what you can hear of this at all. Uh, if nothing, I might just have to put music over all of this and uh, just show you the pictures. Going <laughs> yeah, uh, base over Apex. But uh, yeah, I think we'll just get round to the Trig, have a breather, and then uh, probably uh, just head down via Edale Cross and uh, Oak and Clough. It's been uh, rather bracing up here. Very nice nonetheless. Edale Rocks now and uh, the visibility has really dropped but uh, won't be long before we'll just get back behind Edale Rocks and uh, round to Swine's back and then we start heading down. The lee of swine's back now. Uh, just a bit of respite from the wind, quite uh, bitter. Visibility's changing sort of from second to second. One minute you can't see anything, and then this beautiful view down Edale Valley opens up. It's uh, rather stunning.
past Edale Cross now and heading down Oak and Clough if you can hear me so uh, yeah it's been a breezy one but uh, just started to get down off the top now so uh, breeze should lighten up a little bit just getting down to the bottom of Oak and Clough now and uh, fabulous views up onto South Head and Mount Famine as you come down here so you don't lose the views all the, all the way around this walk really uh, something else right so we're not that far off getting back to the campsite now and uh, if you're still with us thanks for joining us been a lovely walk isn't it a bit breezy and uh, slightly chilly already in mid-october but uh yeah nice nice being up there in the sort of the uh, low cloud blowing across and everything like that it was uh, yeah it's good only about uh probably seven seven and a half miles all told but uh yeah fabulous so uh you have enjoyed it if you don't mind doing the honors and uh, giving it a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing if you haven't already i'd very much appreciate it so uh thanks once again for joining us and we'll see you very soon again on another uh hike or a camp or whatever i've got coming up next cheers now bye